everyone, and welcome back to some more uh, Pokemon Emerald Blind. Uh, I, we went to a graveyard, and it was on a mountain, and uh, I kept going down routes, and now this whole place is infested with Team Aqua people, and I don't know what to do in the city. <laughs> Recap. <laughs> yeah. All right. There was all this stuff up here. Yeah, you went, yeah, the other <gasps> Move deleter. Unwanted Pokemon moves. If you just cut off half of that, it just says unwanted Pokemon. <laughs> So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets, dude? Department store. Yeah, it's like a. It's, it's Is got... it like the shopping mall nine? Yeah. <gasps> Look, it's a department store. Well, there's nothing on the first floor. Let's fucking go up. Oh, what the? Why do I gotta tell? Why is your job to press the button? Why can't I press the button? It's it's because they're they're conscious about COVID nineteen. Bro, this came out in like, what, 2007? I didn't know what that shit was. Okay, so this is normal shit that you find like a Pokemark. Does that mean this area doesn't have a Pokemark? Because they have this. I think so. What do you have? The same shit? Oh, look at the wave one. It's got a little Whalmer on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that, my friends, is, is. Oh, wait, I meant the B button. That, that's how you're supposed to know you're supposed to get a Whalmer to get one of the red <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, they just have stairs. Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Ooh. X items. I'm assuming this one has the proteins and shit. Yeah. yeah. I got this shit red like the back of my hand. All right. All right. What do you have? Oh, TMs. TMs. I don't know what these do. Affect right. all damage, but it may fail in That's procession. Protect. Prevent status and normality with the. That's safeguard. Okay. Oh, that's uh. Wait, let me guess. Cause like uh, re uh, reflect. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and this I, one's I, light screen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so smart. Okay, and then what do you have? A powerful fire attack that may burn the. Is that like flamethrower? That's fire blast. Oh, okay. Strikes- oh. Thunder. Blizzard. Hyper Beam. Uh, okay, I was about to say, like... Because I know uh, Hyper Beam and, like, Giga Impact are normals that kind of do the exact same thing. Alright, now what's up here? There's so much up here. I don't think this has anything. I think this is all stuff for, like, uh, <gasps> Look your, at the poster. your uh, secret base. I should probably do that at some point. I mean, you could, but it, it's It just... doesn't serve a purpose. Yeah. Is it like, it's if you connect fun. with your friends, they can visit your secret base? Yeah. Okay. In the, um... In the remakes, it's actually pretty useful, because, um... In, like, the post-game, you can visit other people's secret bases, and, <gasps> uh, in battle against them, it looked like a set team, <laughs> and, and they can set it up so that, um... So that you can battle like a bunch of blissies, and and so you can train by visiting people's secret bases. I love the Swablu because it just looks like an Octaria, but just small. <laughs> also, I love the Gulpin. Gulpin. <laughs> you Gulpin these nuts! Alright, that's All right. everything. There's no person here that like, if I talk to them, they'll give me something cool. Uh, I mean, it, probably, but I don't think there's anything like that important. Okay. Oh, that, I was not pressing that way. All right. All right. There was this. The museum. The museum. Pokemon masterpiece collection on exhibit. It's gonna be like a dead Pokemon skull. <gasps> that guy's a painter. This art museum. Well, uh, you could see many fascinating paintings and the cultures of wonderful people. Among artists like myself, this museum is an inspiration. <gasps> oh, look at it! It looks like a like a. a Pidgeot? I was gonna remember the name. It's a replica of a famous. It's an ancient bird Pokemon. It's a big Pokeball carved in Blackstone, apparently used in festivals in the olden days. I do gotta ask you whenever you see a word that you don't know, you don't like try and like. Uh, like think about it first, you just try and pronounce it without. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I pronounce wrong there? Curator? Is it Contivator or something like that? Wait. This one? Oh, you mean the the artist? Yeah. 
It's a huge stone tablet inscribed with Pokemon in dense text and the small characters of an ancient, unreadable language. To so like, Landorus was a person... Landorus is a Pokemon, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a very old painting. The paint is peeling here and there. Don't they have ways to reserve paintings? Is that why, like, the Mona Lisa has been, like, around for so long, you know? I mean, yeah, they can they can preserve it. If it's painted with, with oil, I think I think it lasts a while. It's a delicious looking painting of berries! <laughs> this painting makes you, look, makes you hungry. Uh, speaking of, uh, like, the Mona Lisa, I always think it's interesting that, uh, the Mona Lisa is actually, like, a really small painting. Really? Yeah. People think it's like some gigantic painting that's like. Well, it's just a self portrait of a lady. It's like it's like the, it's like this big. It's oh. like it's it's like a foot or something. It's it's like really short, and so when you go to the, the, what whatever it's called, the Lou or whatever the the mu art museum that it's in, um, mm -hmm. people people will be like, I want to go see the Mona Lisa, and then uh, like there will be like a gigantic crowd around it, and it's so hard to see just because it's tiny. Yeah. And they won't let you, like, super close to it. Oh, I do believe that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you an interest in paintings, too? Yeah, they're beautiful! Ah, excellent! You do like paintings. Then may I ask you to come with me? This is our special exhibit hall. This fucking blank in here. I'm gonna turn you into a painting. No! Luigi Mansion style! <laughs> As you can plainly see, there is not a single painting on exhibit. Here, I don't wish to exhibit works of so-called classical art. Such classical works you can see on our ground floor. I wish to exhibit a work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old famous works. This exhibit hall I wish to fill with, with. Modern and vibrant artworks of Pokemon seemingly ready to spring forth into glorious life. I beg your pardon, I didn't intend to monopolize the conversation. Now, as you are young and yet obviously well-traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, may we ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here? What is that? What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know, I guess if you just see any cool paintings, you're just like, Yeah, can we, like, take this? I haven't really seen any paintings. Uh, I don't remember any either. I, I don't think I've ever actually gone into this museum, to be honest. Oh, you're like, nah, not important to the story. Yeah. It's not. not. run. Does it give you something cool if you, if you do it? Uh, like I said, I, I don't know. I, I never went in. Oh. Our fan club! Everyone here is all huge fans of Pokemon Battles. We discuss who we consider to be the strongest of all trainers. If you if you were to be become famous, we might even become your fans! Okay. Brawly? Brawly's not the strongest. He has the weakest Pokemon. That's a shit take. My favorite trainer is... Cool, strong, and really nice. I wish there was a trainer like that. Fuck you, I'm right here. <laughs> I've been hearing things about a, new, a tough new trainer. <laughs> this trainer supposedly has been beating uh, gym leaders even. Do you even, do you know anything about this new trainer? I'm right here, guys. <laughs> That's kind of rude. In search of trainers. Hi, today we're visiting area in Route 111. We're trying to spot some up and coming new talent in the field. Today, we turn our lenses to Trainer Phoenix! There's something about this trainer that has piqued our interest. Best way to determine how strong the trainer is? Well, the fastest way is to battle, and so we began our investigation. That is how we ended up in a battle with Phoenix. In a dominant performance, we are we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Phoenix is, a, is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impression after having a battle with the, the fierce trainer. I lost confidence in myself as a result of <laughs> <laughs> I want to die after. <laughs> we were beaten before we could even launch a single attack. <laughs> oh, Chanel. Snivel. Oh, Snivel. <laughs> in despite of that, Phoenix's battles are worth seeing. I recommend confident trainers to challenge Phoenix. Oh, maybe that's why we keep getting fucking people to battle. <laughs> after our battle, we asked Phoenix for a... A what? Summer? Succinct. Some <laughs> the trainer replied, can win! <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix's Pokemon Marsh Stomp and Iron and can win. <laughs> mm, that's deep. There's deep <laughs> significance behind that quote. There's no surprise, a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you next time on our broadcast. Wow, how inspiring. I forgot we did that. 
you just like enter a custom phrase and it's like, fuck you. And, 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 <laughs> and they're, they're like, like, wow. Wow, that's deep. It's a motel. Remember us as a cove, Lily in Lily Cove. There's like the couple arguing there saying like, I want a divorce. <laughs> our, <laughs> our, on our honeymoon, we devote to see many rare Pokemon as we can. So we're delighted to see a rare Pokemon as soon as we arrived. I mean, we were totally happy. What Pokemon did you see? We had just arrived here on our honeymoon vacation. We happened to see a Dragon-type Pokemon flying way up in the sky. Do cool Pokemon like that live in the Hoenn region? Nah, not really. Maybe it's an Altelia. What do you do? Hmm, so they double the guess by using Pokemon as attractions. Hmm, well, maybe I should make a cute Pokemon in our, our, our in mascot. I wonder if that will attract more guests to stay with us. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was too involved in watching TV. Since that, that Team Aqua- Oh, sorry. Since that Team Aqua came to town, tourists have been <laughs> staying away. I, Are you really gonna go through this entire motel? Okay. I don't know if there's anything cool. I mean, fine, you can go through the motel. What's it? Oh, this it's is the, the contest. contest hall. Should I try this? No. Nobody cares about the contest. Okay. You're very mean to everything that isn't main story. Well, there's, there's, you didn't like the battle tank, you don't like the museum, you don't like the inn, you don't like the yeah, contest. It's all, it's all unnecessary. What are you guys doing? Growing old, yada yada yada. <laughs> all I'm saying as a personal viewer, if someone spent an entire episode in the contest hall, I would immediately click next episode. <laughs> Max Repel! What the fuck is that thing? It looks like a weird-ass dildo. I don't know. You just like click on it and it says, some weird-ass dildo. <laughs> it ain't saying shit right now. But is the water shallow enough over there that I can just walk on it? Well, let's go see. I, I don't know how to get there. You gotta go up and around. Oh, fuck! I had to do things! Oh, there's a guy here. Huh? What? What's that? I'm not near awake yet. You can have this. I think that's rest. Oh, I thought it was like snore. Oh, or maybe it's yawn. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> you know about yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah some bad oh, team. <laughs> that's what you get for skipping through all of it. <gasps> I can. Yep. Wait, hold on, I wanna s can I ride my bike on it? It's making funny noises. Alright, that, that guy seems awfully suspicious, maybe you should go in the direction he's facing. Yeah, yeah, problem. Oh, no, no, I wanna talk to him. There, Wilmer, leap out of the water now! Oh, what do you want? You messed up with training, so can you, like, get lost? Do I gotta beat the shit out of the Wilmers? <laughs> no. Go up. Fuck. <gasps> At least I believe it's, it's another up here. goddamn pillow park. Water flying's kind of annoying for your team to deal with. Well, they're weak against rock. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a Pokemon that like. Well, maybe we'll have a Pokemon on our team that knows at least one electric type move. <laughs> maybe. Didn't you get the team for Thunderbolt? Yeah. No one can learn it. <laughs> Unlucky. Maybe when Quartz evolves again, maybe it will learn- Cause it learned Surf, why can't it learn Thunderbolt? <laughs> At least I think it can learn Surf. Rhyperior can learn Surf. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so I was right, it is up here. <gasps> Aqua Hideout? I wonder if this is their hideout. Wh what Are you a Team Magma, Grunt? Yeah. I hear that Team Magma is trying to awaken an awesome Pokémon at their hideout. <laughs> <laughs> But where might their hideout be? You're like saying it like every capital like letter is like a quotation, but where is this hideout supposed to be? <laughs> what do you- oh, you say the same shit. Oh. Oh, Ma Mount Chimney. So maybe we need to go back to Mount Chimney. Oh my gosh, you so I came over here for nothing! You're a fly, at, at least it's telling you where to go. Fuck it, I'm gonna fly right now. If I can press the right button. 
you know, feel free to fly over there. Alright, where do I gotta go? Uh, I believe it's near, is it near Lava Ridge? Yeah. How do, how do I tell? You're, you're right next to Lava Ridge. Yeah, but like... It, it, it says Mount Chimney when you go a little bit to the, to the right and up. Oh. <laughs> you literally hovered over it like four times. <laughs> To be fair, I'm I'm used to in most games where like it has like the roots, the town, and then any like miscellaneous places off the side. They have like a little marker for it. It just looks like a piece of land. It's an old game, okay? Can you cut them some slack. Well, no. If I cut slack for them now, how will they improve later? I can't get up here, can I? <laughs> no. So what, what you what you do? You don't have the right bike. What do I just fly? Up here and then go down. Uh, no, there's a, there's an easier way. Okay. At least, well, I at least I'm, I'm, smart. I'm, I'm almost 100% certain there's an easier way. Right. You can just go to the right. What, go down? Yeah. And then go up. Oh, there's a oh, the ball. Yeah. Well, it's fine. You have fly now. You can easily fly back. Maybe we'll see that guy running up again. See, uh, you were gonna fly all the way up there and, and try and come back down. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't see a guy. Nope. I'm sad. I mean, it's pretty rare. Why put just a rare thing in this game? So they're in Mount Chimney again? That's what it said. Oh, is there new trainers over here? What? There are! Huh. It's kind of cool that we came over here. I thought they were just tourists. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's like a, a TM. It's level 21. <laughs> I can't, man. Well, I guess I guess it's just they cleared out, and then. Uh... Why would you put trainers in a place that you didn't think no one would come back to? <laughs> Good job, Quartz. I'm gonna have to chill out with water. All right. My lady's here. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh. Fuck. Uh, do you remember inside the jagged path? There was that area that you need. Uh, there was like a strength boulder in the way. Oh, so we need to move it out of the way. Well, that's that's what I'm, I'm assuming. I'm trying to remember all of this because the last time I played Emerald was a couple of years ago. And I played it zero damage. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that's what that's what I remember, cause I was like I was like I thought you had to go deeper, uh, rather than trying to go like on top of Mount Chimney, which is weird that they say they're by, they're at Mount Chimney. Yeah, cause it, you would think it'd be up here, right? Yeah, cause I feel I feel like this is where Groudon is. You know, like Groudon is in a pool of lava, and then Wilmer is in the what, what was his name again? Kyogre is in. The, like a big thing of water, which is just the ocean. <laughs> yeah, so you see, so you, you'll probably need to go back down to the Jagged Pass and... To the... Uh... You just got this old lady's number. Yeah. That's hot. There's nothing up here? Oh, there's a... Excuse me? <laughs> why, why she's spazzing out like that? Okay, Screw I'm just them. gonna leave her alone. <laughs> she's, you know, she's going through a tough time. Yeah, she, she, can, she can do her thing. So I need to go jagged and use strength. Alright, which way is that? Can I use these without the bike? Um... Well, I, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't think so. I think you, I think you need the... So... Just keep going down. Okay, well I don't know how far down is. No. This boulder is shaking in response to the magma emblem. <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Hey, I found their hideout. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That made it stupid. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yes. I'm like over here trying to be your guide, and I don't remember that shit at yeah, all. Yeah, I did a puzzle. So right, how, how can you get that item up there? Probably going that way. Yeah, you probably need to go like around. Yeah, it's like, stupid. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. Geo, dude. You're gonna like make your way all the way around, and it's gonna be like you got a paralyzed heal. And I'm gonna be like, thanks, shithead. Mm. 
Nice. Good job, Quartz. Thank God they don't have Sturdy in this game. Well, they do, it just sucks. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. So that is specifically for moves like uh, Fissure and, and uh, Sheer Cold and whatnot. Yeah. Is he Torkoal? Look at him! He's so cute. Do you just run. I was like, do you think Quartz is fast enough? <laughs> so I need to go down? There it is. I only had told us you dig and dig mountain chimney, so we dug and dug, and in the course of and in the course of digging, we came across something that blew our minds. What did we find? <laughs> Look, I'll tell you. I'll tell you if you get me. <laughs> what a beautiful emblem. <laughs> so what? Did they, when they said that they dropped their emblem, do, does that mean like they dropped a piece of their shirt that just had the emblem on it? I don't know. Uh, to me, I think I think it's like, it's like a, a badge or something. Uh, it's like a little pin <laughs> that they wear in their clothes. Question is though, how in the world is it that that they like drop whatever this emblem is, and you just walk by this area and it's like it causes like an earthquake. What the fuck is all this? this Machinery. Is... What's up there? A cave that I can't get to. No, I'm saying what's out there. Oh, I thought you said what's up there. <gasps> Why is he covering his nipples? He's sensitive. He doesn't like taking his shirt at, off. At least he covers them on like the, the, what was it? The Nuzleaf? The Nuzleaf is proud and in charge. Yeah. <gasps> Rock throw! Go ahead. So Steel's weak against ground. Or is it Rock? So they keep getting those two confused. Or was that just a fighting type move? What move? <laughs> rock there. <laughs> it's a rock move. Oh, okay. <sighs> so many Pokemon. Oh, well, I put a repel on. <laughs> I mean, or you could just run from these Pokemon instead of battling every single one. Here, I'll put Quartz in the front, because that- not Quartz. I'll put Soccer in the front, because at least Soccer is faster. You're What's... putting the Grass type in, in front? Hold on you're... right there! You don't really expect me to keep my trap shut and let you waltz by me! No, I expect you to yell and let me waltz by yeah, you. Yeah, you're like, ah, 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 and I'm like, good day. <laughs> it's like, he's like, he's like, it's like, hey! Stop that! Oh, shit! <laughs> Stop breaking the law! So, let's try the sky uppercut thing. Ooh! That was so cool! He went, wah wah wah. He went, waka waka. <laughs> oh, wow, I concede. I wanna watch a Muppet movie. Imagine if one of these, like, magma grunts is like. Is like he's like, hey, you're not supposed to be here, and then you beat them up, and they're like, here's my number. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Like the last area, they're like, hey, uh, you seem like you're gonna beat up my boss. So just in case, if you need like a reference for anything. <laughs> idea. See, that's why you put the fighting type in front. Yeah, and then you miss the sky uppercut that you're about to use. Wait, is it is there a chance of it missing? Yeah. Oh, that would have been funny. <laughs> that would have been that would have been pretty yeah. funny. Can we watch a Muppet movie after we record? Maybe. Yes! I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Muppets, but... Really? Yeah. I think they're cute. I don't like I don't like inanimate things moving around like they're But animate. it's a puppet! <laughs> yeah, do, do I care? <laughs> I, I got to watch some of the movies when I was on the Disney Cruise. They, they had like a limited selection. So they had the original Muppet movie of like the um, it's like that the the puppet dude named Walter and then the human and Maybe whatnot, different. yeah. And then it was Muppets Most Wanted, which was the sequel to that. And then they had Muppet Treasure Planet, Muppet Treasure Island. That's it. And that was pretty good. But that was all the movies I was able to watch because <laughs> that was their entire selection of Muppet movies. Oh dang, how unfortunate that they only have a select selection of- Yeah. But then I, I did, they have like this little thing on the cruise where you can play as a detective, 
and I got to do the Muppet story of trying to find all the props. It turns out it was like the little, like, uh, there's different characters that will do it, and they'll have their own reasons and, like, motives of why they stole all the props. And it, I think his name was, like, Pepe. Is that... Yeah. PP? No, it was Pepe. <laughs> and uh, the reason why he stole it was to make a shit ton of money on people playing the, like, the detective game. <laughs> Here, real one for that yeah, one. Yeah, and I'm like, wow. But I could barely hear because apparently the that television I chose for the final bit was like a little broken with the audio, so I could barely hear. <laughs> it kept breaking in and out, <laughs> but it was fun. It had to I had to go up and down each and every deck to figure out like where each of these like little monitors that changed the posters were. And the in. Oh, oh it's, yeah. it's a psychic tech. Oh, that's right. I was like, oh, ground, punch it. There was, uh, they have, like, little things. That way you don't have to keep going to every poster. They have, like, little, like, misadventures of, like, going to look at the the board by the theater. Or, like, they made a specific, like, mini door for Pepe. <laughs> and it's, like, it was, like, room five, six, five and a half. <laughs> and it was a little baby door next to the, uh, the daycare center for, like, dropping your kids off so you can go fuck off by the pool. <laughs> And it had a bunch of pictures of like all the Muppets just hanging out and doing like fishing things and like playing the lottery. <laughs> it was cool. I recommend a Disney Cruise to anyone. Kids or not, it was fun. Because they even have like an adult area. So you can drop off your kids and then you can just go fuck off with other adults. Yeah. Must be nice being rich to go on these cruises. I asked you to go with me. You say you didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, because I'm poor. <laughs> I could have paid for you. <laughs> no, why would I do why would I want you to spend all that money for me to go on a cruise? Because it was fun. <laughs> all, I'm sa all I'm saying is, you may advocate for people to go do it, I'm just advocating- Well, I'm, I'm you, advocating you do... if you have the money for it, don't go poor, because I said something. You do whatever you want with your money. What's this? What's over here? Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a lot to decide out. <laughs> I'm gonna go put on that max reply real quick. There we go. Uh, bag, please. The thing that always threw me off with, uh, <laughs> with repels and max repels is, um, is the fact that, like, if you have a lower level Pokemon... It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> yeah, though you, you can still just find encounters. Oh! Even the tremors here sometimes. Can it be the volcano rattling or is it what? Whoops! Whoa, no, no, never mind! The whoopsies almost leaked! Almost leaked Drake's. I mean, what? Who the fuck is Drake? <laughs> <And> Don! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, let me. Headbutt! I was about to say, let me put it into perspective. I'm trying to remember, alright? Poison and flying both resist fighting. Give me I was give me a damn second. I'm not very bright. Or well, someone's about to actually like, correct me in the comments and say, oh the new flying doesn't actually resist fighting. Well, actually <laughs> You're actually I, I know much more about this game than you. Actually poison does not resist fighting in the slightest. So it actually would do neutral damage? No, I actually hard. do I actually do know that one. Poison does it does resist fighting. Cause I was trying to beat up a coughing and I was like, why does this shit do no damage? <laughs> you didn't get the clue when it said not very effective. <laughs> well I used fucking close combat on it and thought it would kill it. Ow. <laughs> Needless right. to say it did not. Oh I found a max elixir, nice. What's over there on the left? Hold on. Because they're well, you know that this is the way to go. Ooh, wait, this it, is the it, right it, way? Yes, there was... Oh, I didn't know that. How am I supposed to know? Oh, shit. Well, let me put it into perspective. You saw the lava pool that was there. Yeah. And you saw that there was a little area on the right and a little area on the left. Okay. And there was a walkway up on the left. Okay. So that means it's probably the same, the same spiel where okay. if you go up here, there's probably... Two trainers! I love how he's the one that saw you first. Yeah, it's not the lady five feet in front of us. 
Yeah. He's like, he's. A, I found you, faker. It's it's like it's like between me and you, and then I, like a dude like From two time. houses down just saw me. Yeah. And then I'd be surprised that I saw him. Brecken, snap his neck. No, not intimidate. Well, it's a it's a good thing. I'm pretty sure Sky Uppercut will just kill the Mighty Anna and then Faint Attack's a special move. Oh, I guess, yeah, you could use Fake Out. Yeah, I was gonna use Fake Out of the new one. That way, he didn't do anything suspicious. Yeah, it does indeed have a chance of. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> fuck! No, it's fine, I'll just use Mach Punch. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll do that. I don't know if Mach Punch is gonna kill it though, because you're minus one attack. Fuck! I should have known! I'm so stupid! Sky Upper Alright, at least the new was dead, so we won't use like Fine Thrower on it. He's got the moves like Jagger. Uh oh. Just, just You can just switch out Sakura here and then yeah, just kill Bracken. Him Bracken. Should Bracken use, um,. Faint attack? It would it resist, right? Yeah, but it's, it's it'll probably still kill it. Okay. I'm holding you up to that. Well, I said probably. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh man, it's a good thing I'm right. <laughs> yeah. You're like, whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> yeah, you would have taken like. 10 damage from that thing. Oh, fuck you. That would've been scary. What's up here? <gasps> I oh. found a full restore! Ooh. Do you think I can go fishing in there? I just found like a dead corpse of a magic carp. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cooked. They should make that like a thing in one of the games of like you can fish in there and you can find like two different Pokemon that are like fire based that just swim in lava pools. Uh, maybe like a fire water type. Like you see like Torkoals in there. Well, there is a fire water. <laughs> you see Torkoals <laughs> yeah, like, in this. <laughs> they're bathed in fire. Like you see like um. You could you could you could probably see like Slugma in there. Yeah, well there already is a fire water type, but it's a uh, volcanic, and that's a mythical Pokemon. So yeah. I wouldn't know if they would make a fire water type like a normal Pokemon you would find every day. You know. They made a movie with Volcanion. That was the weirdest freaking movie. I you know what? I've never seen any of the Pokemon movies before. Really? I mean that weird one with like Mewtwo where like Ash like goes turned into stone. And Pikachu's like, Pika, Pika. Doesn't Pikachu start speaking English? <laughs> or is that a different movie? I think it's a different one. Cause like I thought Pikachu was like, because I love you, <laughs> or some shit like that. I thought that happened in one of the movies, because I remember a lot of people being like, Yo, what the fuck? Why does he sound like that? Oh no. I, 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 I can't- Oh, it was like when Ash and- Oh. Where it came? Where am I supposed to fucking go? Oh, so this wasn't the- this wasn't the right way. You see? I was right the whole time. What was the, uh- Oh, so you need to go outside instead. Do you even have- oh, you do have an extra Yeah, point. I picked it up here. <laughs> nice. Oh, it was when Ash and Pikachu were like fried to a bit, and they're like, Come on, Pikachu, why won't you do it? <laughs> and then everyone was like, Yo, what the fuck, why does he sound like that? <laughs> yeah. A lot of the Pokemon movies are pretty good, and then some of them are really bad. Like, the Hoopa one was actually so terrible. I never saw that one. If anyone likes the Hoopa one, I'm sorry, but that is awful. Was it like a time travel thing? Well, it's or a, what is it, like different dimensions or different places? What, yeah, but the, 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 the thing is, like, like uh, Hoopa was like a prankster. He was like, he was like messing with people, and the entire time, every single time he like made his like little ho like hoops that made a different a dimension, he would just say, the, and I quote, I made a Hoopa ring! And he would say that at least a hundred times in the movie with the stupidest sounding voice, and uh, and it was it, it was like cool at parts because like uh, since he he would like pull out different dimensions, he would like 
And you could, uh, he would, like, summon a bunch of different, like, legendaries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But just hearing him say, I made you hoop a wing <laughs> like, a billion times was <laughs> actually, s oh my gosh, made me want to blow my brains out. Poor thing. I really want to see that one with, like, Metaweta, because I think she's a really cool one. There's a Victini one. Yeah, Victini is so cool, too. I like it's the lore that it had in Pokemon Black and White, but I feel like it could have added more of, like, wh what was the reason why this rich billionaire was like, let's take this Pokemon and put it on an island by itself in a little room. Sky Uppercut. I'm hoping they... Oh. <laughs> I don't know if... Are they gonna do the, the Pokemon uh, Direct this Sky year? Uppercut. I don't know. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah. Don't they do one every year? Yeah. Well, I'm hoping they do one, because I really want to know if they're going to make, uh... Oh, oh. Pokemon, uh... Like a Unova remake. Because there's so many ways that they can do it in one night, because there's the, the main one, and then there's the sequel. So, could they just go, like, a third one? And, like, continue off of the story? I wonder if they'll finally make the long-awaited Pokemon Z. You know how they uh, had Pokemon X and Pokemon Y? I remember hearing that shit for so damn long. Do people just say that because they made, like, Platinum and then they made Emerald? What? Huh? What? Okay, that, like that's- that, that's- Like a re- like a- they, they, they remake the original, add some of the story That's what and whatnot. You mean. Um, yeah. Because I remember people being like that when um, Pokemon Black and White were made. They're like, oh, can't wait for Pokemon Grey to come out. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's more like they have. Uh, they have. Uh, Yveltal, which is starts with a Y, and they have Xerneas, which starts with an X, and they have Zygarde, which starts with a Z. Yeah. So it's like, why wouldn't they make a Pokemon Z? Because they literally have the box art legendary that they could put on it. Yeah. And it like and it like works, but instead they're just like, no, I I made a Hoopa Ring. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna let that goddamn Hoopa Ring thing go. I hate Hoopa. Hopefully if they do make a Unova remake and whatnot, I, w I hope they bring back, like, the event, uh, Pokemon. Like, the, like, uh, the mythical events, you know? Because they did that for Gen 4, and then they stopped at Gen 5. But they just, like, you just get gifted it, and there's, like, a special little thing associated with it, but that was it. But I wish you could, like, have an event activate, and then you can go out and catch Metaweta, or, like, they do that for Victini, you can catch Victini. But you have to have a special little pass to do, which is good. Yeah. But like, they don't do that for Metaweta or Genesect. Yeah, you just you get kinda, them. You, I... you just kind of get a gift to you, and then you have like a little event with them so they can learn their special move. Same thing with uh, Keldeo. I love its lore. I wish you can catch it. <laughs> yeah. It made me so sad because the Keldeo is one of the like free legendaries you get for like pre-ordering the game or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oh, really? Oh, I didn't pre-order it, and I still got it. Well, it was gifted. It was given as a gift later on too. Oh. And, but I, I could never, I could never figure it out because I was young and stupid, and so I, ne I never ended up getting it. It's okay. We're all dumb and stupid. Man, I gotta say, they made this hideout pretty fast. What you think they just made this hideout? I feel like they did, and there's all a bunch of machines, dug out. I'm pretty sure they've been planning this stuff for years. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, headbutt that thing, and then break that guy's neck. <laughs> what was the other thing? Wait, Kaldeo's thing is like, uh, like the, the sword Pokemon of, uh, Verizon, uh, Kabalion, and then that other guy that I keep forgetting the name of, it's like Teriyak or something, like Teriyaki sauce, yeah. <laughs> like, they're based off of the Three Musketeers, and then when is part of the group, it's that fourth one that's actually part of the story. And whatnot of the of the three musketeers, but I wish they did something with it. It would have been really cool. <laughs> They're not that creative. How dare you think the Pokemon company is that? Cre actually, they're pretty creative. Yeah. 
<laughs> is it too much to ask? I just hope that they do remake it. They make the like those event Pokemon a thing, like the events of like catching it. Yeah, I think it was cool what they did in like uh, in like uh, Pokemon Legends of Arceus, how like you uh, could like. Oh, well, with the Shaman and the. Uh, uh, yeah, in yeah. Darkrai. Also, this is a Pokemon, or this is a Magma ad, admin. Oh! So this is like one of their head honchos. Well, he's not very good. Uh, they, they, they gave one of their head honchos a level 26 Numal. Yeah, and they're like, that's that's good, right? Oh, and a Zubat. How can we forget? Wait, they, they listened to Fan Outcry about, like, they love the event-type Pokemon that was in Gen 4 and others. Because in uh, Gen 9 with uh, Scarlet and Violet, they did bring back mythical event Pokemon. Because they had that whole event thing for that little uh, Petra Berry that was poisoned or whatnot. I don't know why I was switching up Pokemon. You should have switched up Pokemon. It's a fucking oh, shit. type. <laughs> I wasn't looking, I'm sorry. I was like, I was, I was like, wow, it was so smart on her. I don't have to tell her to switch Pokemon here, and then you fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you went for. You literally made don't me worry. misplace my how proud I was of you. Silver, I'm almost proud of you. That's the most proud of me you've ever been. <laughs> I was almost proud of you. Yeah, exactly. I'm twenty. Mighty Anna. He's mighty. Yeah, and Anna. Anna. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> so <Stupid>. smart. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe since they listened to Fran Outcry with Gen 9 and brought back the mythical events, maybe they'll do that for like remakes and newer games coming out. Yeah, well I mean I think I think what they're uh Well actually since it's a remake, I don't know. I was gonna I was gonna mention like oh they'll probably do like DLC, but they're saving DLC for like the mainline games. Yeah. It'd be cool if they had DLC like you did the first game. Like uh, this is how I'm thinking. They remake the first game of how it is. The DLC is you traveling two years in the future and seeing the events play out. But as like one of like as the protagonist of the first game, because in the second game they like disappeared. Even like your mom is confused at where have you gone, and whatnot, and like is sad about it. That like when you, but as like the second game's protagonist, if you go to your house in Nubella Town that you started at, your mom mistakes you as your kid, and she's like, oh I'm sorry, I just you just look so much like him and how he was when he was um traveling around. It, I just thought you were my son slash daughter. And she was sad about it. <laughs> and how she hasn't seen her kid in like two years. Unlucky. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, that's a cool concept because they have the whole like, e like uh, intro link that they could probably tie into it of like traveling two years in the future. I don't know. I'm giving them so many ideas and they probably won't take any of them. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why not use the move that's four times effective and gives you your health back? Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you were literally sitting there hovering it for like five seconds. What? Your back is full. What do you mean my back is full? That's a thing? I guess so. I, I've never seen it. What the f- What the fuck do I do? Um... Here, I'll use a zinc. What does it do again? Special defense. Who wants special defense? <laughs> Give it to Torkoal. <laughs> Which one is Torkoal again? Oh fuck. <laughs> wow. I, I pressed the up one, I swear! Fantastic job. I got that max revive. <laughs> I swear I pushed up on the thing. I'm so sorry. My brain is rotting. <laughs> How can it be? <laughs> What's wrong with the playthrough we're doing right now? I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it very much, but your your play style is uh, a little bit concerning. Thanks. I strive for innovation. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> Where is this fucking guy at? Oh my god. <laughs> Just run away from the Pokemon. The, th these fucking scenes take so goddamn long, and they do the little dancey dance. If you were so concerned about it, why haven't you bought repels in all this time? Because I didn't think I needed them. <gasps> there he is. Oh wait, it, that's a dude. What, what, FUCK! What's the dog doing? 
Yeah, basically. I probably should take Sakura out and put Swamp, uh, my little guy in front. Why not so little guy uh, anymore? He might start with Mighty Anna. Okay. Excuse me. Groudon. Nothing could awaken you from your sleep. Bask in Magda. This blue orb is what you sought, wasn't it? I thought it was a red one. I sh I have brought you the blue orb. Let it shine to wake you and show me, show me the full extent of your power. I feel like it's the wrong one. <laughs> for, for some reason, the blue orb works with Groudon in this game, and the red orb works with Kyogre. But I'm pretty sure it's the other way around in in the re in the remakes. Right up. What's her- Oh, is that it? Like, awakens him, but he's like, We used the wrong one on me, you dipshit! Wasn't the blue orb the key? Groudon, where have you gone? Oh, so it was you! I've seen you poking around, uninvited here and there. I get it now, you must have pulled a cheap stunt! I mean, yeah, it probably is the wrong one. The question is, though? Maybe you well, just pissed him off. Why does it work to, like, awaken him, though? I don't know, maybe it pissed him off. And now he's gonna go on a rampage instead of being under, like, an influence, you know? Wait, he's so much higher level than everyone else. Yeah, everyone else is, like, 25. Man, you need to get better people. Oh my god, he's like, he got the moves like Swagger. You dropped your attack just for him to up your attack and confuse you? Yeah. Now we have a plus one, right? Yeah. Oh, thank god! Nice. Time to take this thing is dead. Time to take Sakura out. <laughs> <gasps> yeah! Yeah, growl at me all you want, bitch. You went. <clears throat> Crobat? Yep. That's middle, right? Evolution? No. Oh. It's the fully evolved one. Oh! What the fuck would I use on it? Poison flying. To do quartz. It, it doesn't get hit by poison, and then we'll just use rollout. I'm so smart. So smart. I thought it only evolved through friendship. Yeah. I didn't think he cared enough about his Pokemon to, to do that. Cyrus, the, in Gen 4, the dude who only cares about world domination and thinks Pokemon are just tools for that, has a Crobat as well. I don't think it's very hard. Isn't there a, a trainer that, like, realized the error of his ways and treated Pokemon better, and now he has, like, like a friendship Pokemon that, that actually evolved through friendship? Oh, I, I can't don't, remember. I don't, know, I don't know the particular one you're talking about, but I thought it was a thing where like this guy had like a like a the second evolution for like forever because it only evolves through friendship, and then once he changes the air of his ways, he has the fully evolved form. I, I mean, there probably is. I'm not gonna say you're wrong. I just okay. don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you're just gaslighting everyone. Yeah. Just like Trigger Carmoy do in, in that Luigi's Mansion <laughs> playthrough. Yeah. I won't let it go, it's been seven years. <laughs> well, the good thing is, here, you're, you're, all your Pokemon are like Ever. on level. Yeah, let's go. Except, I guess. Well, my bar is 36, it's fine. It's not like this thing's level 40 or anything. Why do I feel like it is level? No, I feel like it's 39. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, this is Surf. I mean, it's gonna be dead either way, but... Yeah, let's go. I mean, that, uh, that fire trick that we battled, she had a camera up and it, like, survived, uh... Our, well, we had water gun. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's not a good comparison. Yeah, water gun is much weaker. What makes you so adamant about handling Pokemon? I got $300. <laughs> That's 3000 Yeah, even better. <laughs> There has to be some reason why Groudon fled. That's why you're trying to say, aren't you? Ha! Huh. You don't- You think I don't know that? With Groudon gone, there is no longer any need for this blasted volcano. I'm going after Groudon, so this is where we part. They're right next to that giant thing of, of like, magma. I, I bet it's super hot in there. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh, it was like this. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't get over there, it's impossible! Okay, it's an escape rope. Well, you, I mean, you can use that to get out of here. Oh, okay. Just, Is there anything up there? Use one of your items. Probably. Uh, what, what does this do again? Speed. speed. Who wants speed? <laughs> Fluffy, right? Sure. Fluffy is so good. I didn't really... 
I mean, every other game I could get like nine hundred ninety nine or something. I didn't. I I didn't think it had a a max bag thing. I didn't think so either, but apparently. I guess you never really got items. Where the fuck are we? I want to go home. Oh, oh. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, is this a drop down? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I mean, you could Damn just use, I mean, you could just use the escape rope if you want to. Yeah, but to. I'm right there. Torkoal, you're lucky. I could take my my rage out on you. Got it! Alright! This was a long episode. What? Doesn't this just go deeper into... Oh, shit. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Alright, this was a bit of a longer episode. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Use it, please. Get me out of here. You see, and... I completely forgot about this part. I just remember the aqua hideout. That's it? So now that I've done this, I can go to the aqua hideout? I believe so. And they'll probably awaken uh, Kryogre. And then the two are gonna fight. And I really think it's because they grabbed the wrong one and now they're pissed off. You're like, how dare you bring my fucking enemy fucking orb to me? You, you, you cocksucker. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think that is the... The lore? Yeah. I mean, Pokemon. I think so. Because honestly, you would think the fire orb would, would reawaken Groudon and make him really pleased and to be like, Hey, so like, do you want to go get chilies? <laughs> or some shit. Yeah, sure, that's exactly what they're gonna say. Yeah. I mean, you think they would grab, like, Cryogre. Is that what happens in, the, in Ruby and Sapphire? They use the, the right orbs on them and then they control them? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Because... Oh, to like mega evolve them in the or primal reversion them in the in those games you need the actual correct ones that match with them okay all right this is a long episode <laughs> i guess in the next one we'll go right over to the aqua hideout again and i guess we are waking cry over yep we'll get to see guy fieri more plot yay more plot bye 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 now i can put grab down in the thumbnail